Hey everybody, I'm Eugene Driscoll. Welcome to a very special video edition live on Facebook of Naval Gazing, the Valley Indie Podcast. It's about 9.30 in the a.m. Monday, April 25th. According to my computer, I'm broadcasting live from the Derby Bunker of valleyindie.org. If you're seeing this and you don't know what valleyindie.org is, it's a nonprofit online newspaper that covers Derby and Sonia and Seymour. Hey, I'd like to cover more. I'd love to cover Beacon Falls and Shelton again and Oxford. But the fact is, don't have the money. Which brings me to The Great Give is coming up May 4th and May 5th, 2022. That's next week as far as I'm concerned. The Great Give is a 36-hour online fundraiser. I'm not part of The Great Give officially. I just want to say they're not speaking on behalf of them. But my organization does benefit from The Great Give, which again, May 4th, May 5th, starts 8 a.m. May 4th, goes all day, ends May 5th at 8 p.m. So it's the one time a year I ask readers to donate to valleyindy.org. Not a comfortable thing to do, to be honest. I'm a reporter. I'm no salesperson, obviously. I mean, look at me. But uh, I do appreciate it because people every year uh, step up and contribute to the Valley Indy to keep it going. And uh, I'm looking to raise $15,000 this year. We usually raise about $10,000 per great give. I'm looking to raise $15,000 during the Great Give, again, May 4th and May 5th. You can donate now if you're so inclined. Go to donate.valleyindy.org, and hopefully you'll see a donation link right there. I sent out, in terms of preparation for this, I did send out 100 postcards, I believe on Saturday, to uh, various people who have donated during past Great Gives. So hopefully you get that. Uh, I've been busy. It's been very busy in terms of local news the last month. So I am coming at you with a little lack of confidence in terms of fundraising for the great give. I'm not as prepared as I should be or as I'd like to be. Case in point, I set up a whole bunch of interviews for the first day. There are some second day interviews still open, but I've yet to send the Zoom information to about 20 people. And I apologize for that. I'm going to get on it as soon as I can. I guess I should really, I should probably make sure this is actually streaming, huh? I'm not just, just like fat face talking to no one here. Let me know if you people can see and hear me and all that. Oh, yeah, there I am. And I have five viewers. Wow. And that's another thing. OK, so the Great Give next week, May 4th, May 5th. I use it as an annual fundraiser. It's a reader drive. It's the one time a year I ask people to, to donate to the Valley Indy. It's going to be challenging this year. Facebook is always challenging. Facebook has been our lifeblood since we launched, launched in 2009. Uh, it's been it's where the majority of our readers come from. But as we all know, Facebook has had its issues in terms of uh, disseminating information or people who use the site to disseminate information. And they've made it harder and harder for a little guy like me to get the word out there. At one point, every video the Valley Indy posted on this Facebook page would guarantee 2000 views like like that. Now, it's just not getting shown to as many people. So during the Great Give, if people could take the time to share the videos from this page, I would greatly appreciate it. So in addition to trying to raise money for the Valley Indy every year, I mean, I don't like asking for money. It's not comfortable. So we had this idea years back and still going strong. We invite a whole bunch of other nonprofits who are benefiting from the Great Give to come on and do a live interview about what their nonprofit does, the great people of the Valley, how you can help them. And it's a way to just highlight, raise awareness about so many nonprofits, which are really part of the backbone of the Naugatuck Valley, as I've learned. So I do have a whole bunch of interviews scheduled for day one, May 4th. There are still some openings on day two, May 5th. If you want to come on, if you're a nonprofit, and your local to uh, Seymour Derby, Seymour Derby and Ansonia, but I do Shelton and Oxford too, sure, or Beacon Falls. Drop a line to Valley Independent Sentinel at gmail.com. That's Valley Independent Sentinel at gmail.com, or simply message me through Facebook. I should be much more, I, th that should all be finalized in terms of the schedule and the Zoom stuff. I should be, this whole page should be saying great give all over it. Oh, by the way, I'm growing a cheesy mustache for the great give because I need 
Kurt Miller of Ansonia and the public officials in Seymour need to make fun of me about something. So I'm giving them this cheesy mustache this year. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I, it's always hard to ask for donations. But I feel like in the last month, I mean, the reason I'm not prepared for the great give is because I've been earning my paycheck doing local news. And I think if you look over what the Valley Indy has provided you as a public service free for the past month, I'm more confident that I can look at you and say, yeah, your money is being well spent. If you donate, we're a vetted nonprofit and it goes towards providing information to the community that you might not otherwise have. Last week, there was that terrible fire uh, in Seymour outside my office, which I wasn't at at that moment. That 10,000 people watched that, that video. Uh, people shared information, and then I shared all the updates that I had. Uh, you know, that took time. That, that was at least eight hours on scene. And then to write the story is another hour or two, and then to post the updates. And I had been writing. I was late to that fire. That fire had been going 45 minutes by the time I got there because I had attended a municipal meeting, sorry, not a municipal, but a state meeting about Derby municipal finances. So uh, there's always something going on. This is a 1.5 person operation. I'm the only full-time employee, in case people don't know that. We do have a, a freelance writer who contributes four stories a week, which is wonderful, but it's always a challenge. There isn't, I don't have a fundraising department. I don't have a marketing department. There isn't a news clerk to type in obituaries, which we publish for free. The press releases you see on the site, that's not a junior reporter or an intern doing those type of things. It's me. In addition to covering uh, actual news, uh, including stuff that you might not read in any other publication locally. So you can give with confidence to infringe on the great give trademark. So I'm still going here. Anybody have any questions here? Do I have any comments? No comments that I'm seeing. Uh, but again, great give is May 4th and May 5th. So now I've explained what the great give is, right? It's, it's a, we benefit from it. You can donate. If you go to donate.valleyindy.org during the great give, or you can do it right now, you can support the Valley Indy if you want to keep local news going in Connecticut's lower Naugatuck Valley, or just come to Facebook, this Facebook page. We're on facebook.com slash Valley Independent Sentinel. You can learn about all the other nonprofits locally that are participating in the great give. And I believe this is the biggest year ever in terms of total participation. I haven't had a chance to fact check this. Like I said, I've been busy. And I believe it's the, I have a press release from the Valley Community Foundation of Derby saying that more Valley nonprofits are participating than ever before. Uh, and then in terms of the great give schedule, again, I still have openings on uh, day two. Let me see if I can bring up my schedule. I'm, I have two computers, so I'm using the mouse for the wrong computer. I'd like to quickly go over the schedule thus far. It's still in draft. And again, I haven't sent out any Zoom invites at this point. So if you're, if you're scheduled for an interview and you haven't heard from me, it's not just you. It's my incompetence. Uh, so like I said, uh, Great Give starts 8 a.m. Wednesday, May 4th, concludes 8 p.m. Thursday, May 5th. On Wednesday, May 4th, our first guest, my first guest is Tom Simonetti from the Valley Shakespeare Festival then literacy volunteers, then WINS, which is a, a subgroup, a women in business group of the Valley, Greater Valley Chamber of Commerce. Then we're going to have Ansonia Police are, are scheduled to come in. Obviously, that may change based on what's happening uh, news-wise and whether they're busy. At 1 p.m., I have reached out and have just about to confirm Adam's House out of Shelton, another nonprofit. At 2 p.m., I hope to, have to eat. 3 p.m. Valley Save Our Youth, an Ansonia group that has grown exponentially, does a lot of good for the Valley. I want to learn more about them because, I mean, the great give, if you, if you don't know, it's just a wonderful event. And I like doing these interviews. You know, I'm not uh, 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 Walter Cronkite. You know, I'm not uh, Mark Marin in terms of my interview skills. I'll readily admit that. But, man, if you're not inspired by hearing these nonprofits and local leaders come in and talk about what they do every day and how they help people. And then how in turn you can help them by donating during the great give. It's inspiring. It's a good time. It's positive news that I, we probably all need. I know I do. Uh, okay. So after Valley Save Our Youth, we're going to have uh, St. Mary St. Michael school is scheduled to come in. Then I hope to have dinner at some point uh, at 7 PM on day one, I have, and I booked the full hour because these guys, these, these guys are talkers. It's Kurt Miller and Rick Dunn, who have sort of become 
the Abbott and Costello of the Valley Indie, great give. I've just paired them up at some point. I've been doing this for like 10 years, this annual fundraiser, and they come in to accuse me of various uh, improprieties and, and that type of stuff. Uh, also during the great give, I will be giving away at various points gift cards to area restaurants. Uh, these are things I go out and pay them in advance. I don't solicit donations because I'm not good at that, but I figure, uh, you know, I pay for them and then you have the chance to win them at various points, which I'll announce during the great give. And hopefully I'll put more on valleyindy.org about all this. At, uh, at 9 p.m. on day one of the great give, May 4th, 2022, Amory Dragonis is going to come in. Primetime Dragonis at 9 p.m. for the people of Seymour. At 10 p.m., I'll have a couple of weirdo podcasters on, including Scary Larry Dwyer of Derby. And then another guy who's sort of my nemesis. I do a side, not, it's not like a side gig, but on the weekends, I do a movie podcast. And I'm at war with Pint of Comics in, uh, in Seymour. I'm sorry, in, uh, in Connecticut. They're a Connecticut-based podcast. That's the schedule for the first day. So that first day, I'm going to be online live from probably 7 a.m. to about midnight. And I'll do, I do these in hour chunks. I mean, one thing that happens every year something horribly goes wrong. I mean, in terms of, of, of my, my laptop starts to melt, I, I use Apple stuff, but I don't know, the fans on Apple stuff, you, you plug stuff into them in those USB-C, whatever they're called, ports, it starts to heat up. After a while, it's just too much for all the devices I have. It's just the way it is. So uh, last year, I, it was frozen a bunch of times, and it turns out I just had to clear my cache. You know, it was as simple as that. But in the moment, I couldn't figure out what was going on. So, hey, if you just want to see a reporter drenched in flop sweat, again, the great give is May 4th and May 5th. I mean, I, I won't even go. I mean, last year, I won't even go into it. Uh, okay, so Thursday, May 5th, the next day at 9 a.m., we're having Susan Agami from the Spooner House. That's area congregations together. She's going to uh, be talking, and all these are on Zoom, by the way. Uh, at noon on May 5th, I'm scheduled to have, I have them marked as Crew Cassetti, which is uh, John Marine, the Corporation Council, has accepted. They're going to come in and give an update about all the goings on in the city of Ansonia. At 1 p.m. on Thursday, May 5th, the Assumption School of Ansonia is coming in to talk about uh, all the great stuff their organization does. At 2 p.m., Mayor Rich Zekin of the city of Derby where I'm in the bunker in, in, in City of Derby right now, or my own house. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much, so I have some open slots at 11 a.m., 3 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m. on day one. I'm one of those is, is going to be, I've sort of half promised. But anyway, Valley Independent Sentinel Gmail. If you want to uh, come on, Valley Independent Sentinel at gmail.com or message me through Facebook here. So that's the schedule. I'll go look to see. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sort of doing this as a test because now Facebook, we have this new setup for the Valley Independent Sentinel page that was forced upon us by Facebook. And like I said at the beginning, it used to be I would publish a live video and it was like 2000 viewers instantly. It was spread and showed to a lot of people, shown to a lot of people who follow Valley Indy on Facebook. And now it's like they bury it. I don't know where this goes. So let me refresh the page, see if I have any questions. And if not, I'll shut up. But I do want to say that the Great Give, the Valley Indie version of the Great Give, the Valley Indie's participation in the Great Give is happening next week, May 4th, May 5th. I'm doing it again. Back in the beginning of this, first of all, the first year I was in the Great Give, I didn't even know I was in the Great Give. I'm part of the online journalism project, and I guess my boss had signed me up, and I didn't even know. But uh, we threw something, I threw something on Facebook and uh, people donated, which blew my mind that people in this day and age would, uh, would donate to a media organization. And then I think the next year, maybe, and my memory shot, but it was when Ethan Fry was a full-time reporter here with me, we decided to do a live stream, sort of like a radio stunt. You know, radio guys are always doing wacky things. We actually stayed up through the whole thing. We did interviews around the clock. We interviewed people at two in the morning, three in the morning. Uh, didn't sleep for 36 hours. That was sort of a disaster because, look, I'm 48. I'm too old for that. I can't do that right now. There's no way I can, I can do that. I'm just not physically or mentally prepared to do that. It would, I guess it would be good for page views. Reporter has on-air crying jag. I guess that would be good. But, uh, you know, another year we had the, the Do Drop In come in and do a hot wing challenge that Ethan Fry accepted. 
uh, it's probably a reason Ethan Fry doesn't work here anymore. Huh? He was, I guess he was abused a little bit, but Ethan uh, did the hot wing challenge, but there was some controversy. I didn't know hot ones existed at that point. I didn't realize like eating hot wings was a thing to the point where it was a television program because my cat bounces down the stairs. So Ethan like used a lot of blue cheese and I guess the purists out there uh, were angry that he did that. But anyway, we did that to, to raise money for the Valley Indy. And I should say like, you know, we're down to, it, it's myself, and Gene Falvo is a freelance reporter from the Valley, extensive experience reporting in the Valley. Uh, she does four stories a week uh, for me. Back in the day, in 2012, there were three full-time employees here. It was myself, really the height, the, the golden era of the Valley Independent Sentinel it was about 2012. Where we had Jody Mosier Gill and Ethan Fry and myself uh, covering five towns. Now it's 1.5 for three towns, but that's the same for every news outlet uh, in the country. It's just, you know, it's hard to get people to pay for the news. It's hard to get businesses to support the news. And Valley Indy has been able to keep going because of a nonprofit model and huge support from the Valley Community Foundation, the Catherine Matthews Foundation, the Community Foundation for Greater New Haven. The Online Journalism Project is our nonprofit parent. And readers like you, not to infringe on the PBS trademark, but that's the absolute truth. The Great Give is the one time a year that we ask for donations, and uh, it's hugely important. So, uh, you know, and just in terms of how the Valley Indy is doing, like I thought right before the pandemic hit, you know, we had laid off a reporter. It was just me uh, at that point. And I really thought that the it was over. It was over for the Valley Indy. And uh, the pandemic hit and, you know, it was, it was kind of like a, you know, when you think you're, when, when like you're, the loss of your job seems around the corner, I don't know about you, but it's hard to get <laughs> completely motivated to sit through 19,000 municipal meetings, you know? Uh, but, you know, I, the, I, I, during the pandemic, like everywhere we saw, I saw a massive uh, spike in in, in news reading, you know, people we, we did, I, I was doing at that point live videos every single day on what was happening uh, in COVID wise in terms of the no lower Naugatuck Valley. You know, we had a doctor from Griffin on, we had all the public officials on every day explaining what was going on, how people were reacting locally. And uh, we were able to write grant applications and thanks to the Valley Community Foundation, the Catherine Matthews Foundation, the Valley Indy has been able to uh, survive thus far. We also were able to, in the last couple of years, we hired, as, in, as opposed to just me, we've hired Gene Fabo Sostovich as a freelance writer who makes, who, who writes four stories a week, which has been great. So in terms of year to year coverage, if you look at right before the, the pandemic hit, we're actually producing much more Seymour stories. The Seymour stories percentage wise has increased by, I think, I don't want to say the percentage. I submitted it on a grant report. I should look it up. Uh, but it's, it's, it's been a substantial increase. Our derby stories have increased because of the nature of what we are. All these municipal meetings held on Zoom have made it easier for us to do our job so we can cover multiple meetings at once. That's starting to go away. But uh, so you saw, even though we have less people, uh, we've, we went from three full-timers to one full-timer and, and, and a freelancer we have actually been able to create more stories for D, uh, D more for D more and Endobia. So I'm very proud of that. And again, I can look you in the eye and say, donate with confidence next week to valleyindy.org. Go to donate.valleyindy.org. So that's my rambling speech. I'll try to, I'm obviously, I'm not a broadcaster. I am, uh, I mean, you know, I don't even have a voice for radio. I neither have a face for, for, for TV or a voice for uh, Seymour Wetlands. Oh, there's, I'm just getting a couple of, hey, you have a vote, Seymour. As I interrupt myself, I just got a text message. But you have a vote come Thursday, Seymour, your budget vote. I try to make it like every year. My mission is to not have someone post on the Valley Indy Facebook page that they didn't know there was a Seymour budget vote coming up. I mean, in, in the past that we've done live streams of it, uh, whenever we put the date on the site, I put it in bold. We'll create an event this week on Facebook to try to spread the word. But every year I try to tell people 
or I try to avoid someone saying, I didn't know there was a budget vote in Seymour. So it's this Thursday, okay? If you made it this far into this broadcast you, and you live in Seymour and you're eligible, you must vote on Thursday. I'm not gonna tell you how to vote. That's your business, but you should vote, all right? Wagging fingers at you. Uh, and that's it. You know, I'm also, I'm just in terms of news coverage. This is another busy week. I have to do what I got to do for the great give. Uh, let people know what's happening, get gift cards, finalize the schedule, make sure all the technical stuff is good to go. Uh, you know, take care of my immaculate cheesy mustache. And then like tonight, you got Derby is uh, may adopt a preliminary budget tonight. Uh, Derby finances and the whole thing finance department thing is, is definitely an interesting and unusual compared to a years past situation happening. So we could have Derby uh, adopt a, a budget preliminary this week. Uh, we've got meetings. I think, I think Ansonia PNZ meets tonight. I didn't see anything that jumped out on the agenda up in Seymour. There is a public hearing on uh, the self storage facility. I think six 30 tonight, according to Gene Falvo, though, I don't think, I think we've done a lot of stories on that. I don't think we're going to cover that. Uh, one, it's going it, it, to, the, the final vote will be next month in front of the planning and zoning commission. But I, I feel like we've done, I don't know, this is an editorial decision being made in front of you. I, I don't think it's worth writing yet another story about the Seymour storage facility. We've, 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 we've sort of written everything that can be written about it, I feel. So uh, that's that. So anyway, all right. So the great give, May 4th, May 5th, donate.valleyindy.org. Please support the Valley Indy. I hope you feel that we are, are worth supporting. I hope we've earned our paycheck in the, at least the last month, if you look at everything that's been going on in terms of, I mean, I'm just thinking out loud, there was that terrible Ansonia homicide. You know, I was there in person on Main Street and then down on Hubble Avenue for hours. That was just an awful, awful scene. We had that fire in Seymour, which was just awful, awful kudos to the, fire department for keeping that thing uh, contained. It kind of looked like when I got there, I've never seen that much smoke from a fire. I assume it's because of all the, the fire load, all the stuff, the antiques that were inside. Uh, Cause that was un incredible. I've never had to like, just back away from a fire. That was a big, big fire. So we had that happening. And again, like I said, uh, there's been, we've been covering the routine stuff, the Derby budget, Seymour budget and Sonia budget doing podcasts. We did an F I did an FOI podcast. Uh, you know, it's, it's been busy. So we're not, we're not cruising along here. Uh, so I, I mean, I do that because I think if I'm going to ask for money, I have to put my money where my mouth is and, and actually show that I've done the work. You know what I'm saying? So that's that. I got nothing else to say. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble or however long I've been rambling. I'll see you soon.